All right. So after getting the loader kind of implemented along with the new error code last time, this time I need to fix it up. Well, not really fix it up. It works. But I need to do some refinements. <clears throat> as well as I need the ability to select what library I'm using in, let's say, linking downstream. Right? I do want the ability, of course, to use the loader. But I also want the ability to actually like choose the specific implementation that you just directly link in if that's the desired course, right? Some platforms will only ever have a single windowing type system. So there's no point in having like using GLFW or some other thing. Like if I wanted to have, create a WSI implementation specifically for Wayland, specifically for X11, Xlib, Win32, whatever. I should be able to, to do that if a platform only has one implementation or like right now choose a loader and then choose the actual implementation at runtime instead if there's more than one. I don't want to arbitrarily limit myself where I don't have to especially on something that's so easy to um, detach it's something that's easy enough to actually kind of uh, keep as a runtime type library like this with only a few um, only a handful of functions required across them so one of the first parts is of course I need the ability to well like I said choose what I'm uh, using at first so right now I'm using this and I have this to define the impl implementation that's loaded in the application right here that's a string which is to the file name to the file specifically so what do I want to do I need a CMake option of some sort uh, or a string CMake option so these are all true falses not really great I need I need something that allows strings in. I have something like that for for the sanitizers, I'm pretty sure. So if I roll on down here. Somewhere in here. Here we go. Uh, this. Uh, the, use sanitizer. So if I say up here in the very top. Something like this. Uh, set WSI implementation. WSI library, which starts off as loader. Choose the specific to link into executable applications. directly faults to the loader wiring in time um, loading something like that something like that not really great um, so WSI library starts with loader. So what I want to do then is wherever foe WSI loader is Linked in, I kind of want to do this so it'll be 
that. So right now it's going to load in the loader one. Uh, Libs loader, that makes sense. Where else? Right here. That. And I presume that as well right here. Okay. Now I want to, what, what do I want to do? If. For GLFW3, the actual implementation library. If I'm compiling it, then I want to make sure that this is shared. If, okay. If not that string equal left w3, then it has to be shared else. Sorry. Otherwise, it has to be shared. Otherwise, Okay, if not GLFW3, it's shared. Otherwise, it can be whatever the default uh, shared or not thing implementation is here. Um, yeah. This can still link in directly to this. That's fine. I think. Uh, photo WSI loader can still be either dynamic or static. So this is fine. You can statically uh, link it into the applications or further downstream, or you can have them shared still. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, I wonder. Um, I have it released right now. Okay. Dash J, do that. So at the end, it's ours. O dash O H A, go go. Hmm. I actually have that still. No, I got rid of it. Cool. Uh, WSI loader is like 87 kilobytes. Okay, not much. So, okay, for the moment, this is still going to work fine. Great, nice and short time span. If I was to change this up to instead, oh, 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 that would also mean if If we have the loader selected, what I want to do then is I need to be able, I need to have like a flag that kind of goes around or goes down the stack. So let's say I'm using if, so much like here. Um, is this it? No, it's not here. Where is it? I put it here? Did I put it here? I put it here. Here it is. If WSI library string equal loader and if Yeah. 
Android. Okay, we got that. Overall, otherwise inherit the overall. Yeah, just uh, that's simple enough. If string equal loader, then. Stream projects to Titions dynamically via this. Target, compile definitions, so WSI loader, public. Um, WSI loader. Using WSI loader, that makes sense to my mind. That should work. Uh, I check the build compile commands. Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of things here. What is this for? Is it for the engine? Yeah, okay. Twenty eight locations. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Maybe okay. <sighs> Maybe I should do a, like a two stage thing. I should have like using WSI loader, use WSI loader as well as the default implementation so that I can pass down the default implementation definition much like I have for this at the moment WSI implementation so that at least it'll always be able to find so so that test applications can find these whatever the default is for the platform that was compiled around but still through using the loader yes yes Order implementations. Default WSI library is GLFW. Passed via definition. Definitions. And then I can have this, an option. 
use WSI loader, which is by default on, but it can be turned off. And if this is turned off, then it uses the default WSI library. That makes a bit more sense. Rather than trying to overload the string a bit too much, I can use these two to kind of toggle different bits of functionality. So, for Got that. So back down to WSI. Not quite. Loader. If WSI, yeah. So this is never loader. Instead, it'll be something else. So we got what? If WSI use loader. Uh, we have that definition that we pass on down. Okay. Um, that kind of means I can't use that string thing as easily. But I'll live with that. So then down here it becomes. Hmm. What does it become? So I was using that. If use WSI loader. Comes for WSI loader. Else, and if we get this other one, which goes this, and we have default WSI library like that. Now it's a bit more explicit and a bit more flexible, even a bit more, more verbose. I'll live with that. I can live with that for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we will have to do though is under the loader we're going to want to pass down from this if that and we also want a, another definition which is much like under the main application, which was the choosing of the WSI implementation like this, like this. It won't be private, it'll be public. So that, and then we have equals whatever this is like that then we can scrap that um,
can I set variables from here? Not really. Hmm. But again, yeah, it may just be better to follow along the idea like this. We have this use loader like that. Yeah, this works. Actually, check what the variables are. Do 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 do. Let's change this back to debug over here. So we have use WSI loader on WSI library. That should actually be GFW3 by default. Now, this is. If, okay, yeah, if, um, if this, then shared. get this right then I can also reuse this similar pattern for the other items I'll have to put behind loaders presumably like the graphics the, like Vulcan versus DirectX versus whatever else implementations maybe the same thing for audio I don't really think there's really much else to hide behind implementations mm, what's this Right, uh, this is changed to, yeah, what is it, this, right? If defined, use WSI loader, and if, so we need to put that behind it. And then we need to do the same thing right about down here. right yeah we're here we've got the right stuff that I mean that's right this is one so it's actually going in and loading stuff great is this good enough well that's, let's actually try turning it off um, Do that. It's changed up. It's going to use. It's going to directly link into the GLFW library. Hopefully. Okay. Skips that. Goes in. F11. 
should take me to the JLFW library. And indeed it does. And it's perfectly fine. 35 milliseconds versus... Well, that's something that doesn't actually work at all, is it? Let's fix that while we're here. After submitting, each VK result. Okay, great, whatever. 30, 35, that's fine. Okay. Let me check. Uh, okay. C uh, mix script modifications to choose implementation at compile time. I got that. Let's get that in play. We can add WSI loader and WSI library. Oh, I need to check if, um, so what if we, see. yeah, okay, um, yep, equals debug. We'll keep shared libs off for the moment. Is there really anything else I can think of? Whatever, just do this. On, on, on. On, on, on. Ba, 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 ba. It's on, it's GLF. Okay, first of all, we'll try it off. So it'll build GLFW as static and directly link it in. Not quite, then. Not quite. Hmm. When doing this.
doing the engine. I don't actually have this file. I guess. Wait, iron. Am I not exporting it? <gasps> no, I'm not. Am I? Because that won't have it, and neither would this. So it'd be only this guy who's actually exporting it, including it. So. Hmm. No, but this is public. Public WSI export. Great. And there's basically nothing. This should be. Why does this not have it then? So when I'm trying to do source CPP U this one right here. Close you guys. Okay, we've got this. Foe WSI libs I'm GUI. Okay. WSI libs I'm GUI include. Okay, yeah. I'm GUI again. Okay, that's there. Is it this? this is public? So it should be available. What am I okay? Let's go down here. What am I doing down here? Hmm? Of course, I kind of screwed that up, didn't I? Yeah, I screwed that up, didn't I? There we go. Whoever, hmm, someone's going to have to export WSI export, and that's going to be whoever's either the loader or whoever's default is the one that's going to be exporting it. So I need to actually like put these behind a flag. So between public or private, it depends. That's going to be a bit of fun. But, okay, what was I doing first? A and so what we're going to have is a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm, Okay, that's static, that's static, and that's static. That's fine. Okay, now the question was, let me make it clean. That's all gone. So if I was to change this to be using the loader, does 
the loader still stays static, and then the GLFW3 when the implementation turns dynamic. There it is. Okay. It is working as I had hoped. Excellent. Now who now is it the resolve like who's exporting stuff? If WSI loader then this becomes the public one. That we're going to include this publicly and pass it down publicly. Otherwise, it's private. So just here, just for building stuff locally, it doesn't. Really, it's not exported from this guy. Private and private, just internally. Use locally only. Okay, and then we just kind of carry on and do the same thing down here for GLFW. Yes. So kind of, if using this, if using loader, don't export from here. And then we export otherwise. If WSI loader, else if um, string equal to GLFW3. Library set WSI library Put it after the put it, yeah, put it there. See now I'm starting to get into like I'm gonna have to I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this in CI because this is really gonna start exploding the number of possibilities. If loader, yeah, you shared. Otherwise, we get down here. Mm 
and not that else yeah, all other possibilities are actually this if we're using this library and not using if not using the loader and the, the default library is this so we're just uh, uh, directly linking to this then we export it from here uh, all other cases where whether we're using a different WSI library or using the loader we do not export and the name of the thing here is that for any downstream That makes enough sense to me. That also does mean I don't, I don't have, this can remain as an, yeah, an interface class, no problem. I don't actually even need exports. That's just gone. Just including that, and this is also including that for, I'm not sure why. Oh, the uh, header. The Vulcan header for th these types down here. Hmm. Yeah, okay. This is turned off at the moment. That's fine, I presume. That's fine. Most of these are these are all dynamic. Great. So we're using that and that. That's great. We have on that, and we'll just turn it off and test that. Just make sure. And we will still build the other implementation, the, the loader and the other implementations. We're just not going to use them actively for here, for this thing.
Okay. Okay, good enough. Good enough. So we'll just kind of turn things back on. So here we go. Let's uh, close this up as well. So we've got this WSI loader, WSI library. We're moving that into that. We're getting rid of those two. Okay. See if we can move it down a little bit more, down to here. Like that, down there, that makes enough sense. Keep your side loader. What's going on here? We're getting rid of this, that's fine. This is the interface only. Uh-huh. What's this? This is I'm GUI. Yeah, this is I'm GUI specific. That's fine. Get this a bit further down. Ah, this. Oh, no, this is always private, so that's fine. Wait, no. Is this fine? I don't think so. No, but it's grabbing stuff from this one, anyways. So it'll always be able to find the actual one, right? So that's another one that can disappear. Let's make sure it goes away. So this was the I'm GUI one, so libs, WSI, libs, I'm GUI, Private, go away. We'll be fine. Okay. The loader. So, yes. Public, public, and then private, private, private. Yep. Loader dot H. Mm. Good enough for now. Yeah. This is all pretty self explanatory. We're using the loader turns to shared otherwise it's that if not loader and this you have w3 that means this is the one that's publicly exporting itself otherwise if it is loader or it's not the primary library it's private use correct so we got we got that and we got this here for the loader great now, the only thing more I can think of is maybe there's some way to do this with the generated uh, CMake generated expressions. Or generator expressions.
Okay, what we got? Boolean generated expressions. We got a bool for string. Convert string to zero or one. Okay. If condition true string false string. Nope. I'm thinking this is what I do. If config. Right. Okay, I need the condition if condition true string false string. Okay, that should work. Let us do this. So we can. Well, no, no, I only need to if it's true, right? If that uh, WSI loader, then it becomes shared. It always becomes nothing. It becomes whatever the, whatever the default is. How it works. Expression did not evaluate to known generator expression. Okay. Try that again. Nope. Bool string. Bool. String. Do I need to like do that? Nope. Mm hmm. Logical operators, okay. Expands to this when debug is mode. Okay. So here's a little. Okay. If config debug. Okay. Th that's. Doesn't work apparently. So great. Well, that's just being stringified, is it? Well, that's not really helping. not helping I 
Oh, this is interesting. 321, runtime DLLs. Right. I can copy them to wherever the EXE is. That makes a bit of sense. It makes Windows a bit easier to work with then. Hmm. Okay, I need to do something like this. Debug mode. Okay, that's great. Um, use uh, uh, the WSI loader. Nope, that doesn't work. That's supposed to be a Boolean. Right, that's a, that's a, that's a boolean. Um, this is the exact same thing in a different. Okay, uh, what about bool then? Do I actually have to do this, like this? Okay. And if I go down and turn off the Musai loader. It'll be the same thing, isn't it? Useful. And it's just the same thing again. Convert string to zero or one. Evaluate to zero if the string is empty. Is a case sensitive equal to zero false off and no ignore not found. Okay. So this makes sense. Bool that. Right now it's off, so it should be zero. Can I just like print that out? So that was one, and then this is also one. I don't think it's supposed to still be that. Uh, 
the rear side lo loader is a bull that's off. So why is it still that? I just regenerated it, and it's still that. The cache does say, hey, I'm, it's off right now. Right, and I, I can... Editor mode, debug, clock man's that. We we're configuring and we're going to configure it with off. Not what I was looking for. I can only assume it's broken somehow. Because I don't know how else this is supposed to work. Unless it's just supposed to be like this. That's not... What is... Uh, they provided an op a uh, example down here, right? Debug, where's the debug? Debug, config debug, debug mode, okay. He <laughs> don't know. And I can't just query this directly. That's a no-go.
String that, no, that doesn't actually exist. Making that up, I guess. String equal, equal, in list, version list, versions, target, config. Really? Is that it? I'm just supposed. To, I'm. I'm supposed to figure this out. Uh, it's one. That makes sense. Maybe. No, it doesn't. I mean, now it would make sense. But now it wouldn't down here. This is because variables don't exist at generx evaluation time. So build the flap is taken as a string, which is to determine. Oh, really? So it doesn't actually exist at this time. That is terrible. Okay, so then I kind of have to do this instead. All right. That's kind of a terrible, but okay. Uh, is there anything else then? Okay. The WSI loader is can be used. However,
WSI loader and WSI library. Accomplished. Um, okay, so that's that. Now I need to add some items for the settings now. Um, settings about here. So I've got window stuff here. Enable WSI, great. We have to maybe... Implementation as a string of some sort. these go back to setting CPP add option This is kind of advanced. We also have the option to do it here. Have window, that, 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 that. Okay. And then in the application, wherever the WSI loader here is, if um, settings dot window dot dot empty, then we use the default implementation else. Try to use that. Does it actually return anything? It doesn't. It should return a Boolean, at least. I'll probably come up with something better. Boolean return Okay, return true if we got everything. Otherwise return false. Mm-hmm. 
it's not empty, then implement, uh, ah, implementation becomes that. Semicolon, get back on out of that. Now, if not, not this, then we just need to end program. Uh, triple, I don't have an error code. Okay, this is both static. Okay, Mo application modification to choose between loader and for choosing implementation or static link time, chosen implementation. I got that. We're just working on CLI and stuff. That'll end the WSIA loader. So what does this work? out to Using uh, the loader now, please. That only changes a few items like libraries, the downstream libraries, which is just the yeah, WSI stuff in the application, realistically. Right. So you got this. If empty, then we do that. We did load it, we carry on, we're good. We're all happy. Um, until here, actually. Whoa, okay. So we need the same thing over and over. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, yes. Wrong one. Whoopsie. Wait, how did this succeed with a null? Hold on. Curious. I'm sorry, what did you just load? You shouldn't have opened an empty something or other. Is this carrying on right now? It shouldn't. Okay. 
Okay. We great. We end program tuple. And then we deinitialize. Okay. And then we're here. Why are we here? Why are we deinitializing this? I'm just not even checking if it's yeah okay that that, that makes sense. Okay, that's that's a, that's another thing. That's a that's a separate issue. So got that. Got some changes here. Got application for that. Settings for that. Settings for that. Yeah, either the is used or specified, then looks good. Now what I probably want to do is I'm pretty sure FOXR is suffering from the same thing right now with the dummy.c because I don't didn't really get this. I didn't really have the full awareness of the context as to how to work something like this with a loader system at the time. But now I do. So let's see if I can actually add this to here real quick. So it's not going to be a source. It's going to it's going to have a loader. Um, libs, because there will also be an IAM GUI for showing. Mm, XR generic stuff, sometime. Loader. Libs. Loader. Mm -hmm. Close that up this I'm GUI loader can I get all this oh. put it like this so it's faux XR faux XR loader includes this yeah source XR loader XR. Okay. Bam. 
bam, 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 bam. Okay, private stuff. Private, public, private stuff, okay. We'll need a new, we need to include. XR. Loader.h. At the root of the application, we're going to have yeah, that. We need the XR version of these. Uh, nope. Yes. So from here, one, two, three, four. And it's open XR. Okay, uh, this down here is going to be losing, it doesn't need this, does it even need this? I don't know, runtime, you have to handle stuff, okay. So this, that, and that, and that, it's all gone, get rid of this. This is going to have to go in the same vein as this for how it determines on what to export. Sorry, not you, you. Oh, I didn't even get rid of this, did I? I should have. Should have been like that. Roll. Fix up. Make sure that still works. Also got this, okay. I hmm. yeah. Okay, back to this. We got this. Goes up in XR. That and that. Include. We don't have this anymore because it's going to be through the separate thing down at the bottom. Down here. Got that. We got the open XR loader. So we're going to a loader to another loader. Hmm. Probably have emissions. Yeah, okay. So we got XR.
becomes XR, this becomes XR. So this is the thing that's exporting stuff. Not the other library. We have the loader, the loader dot eight, okay. Sorry, export H. Basically, this. That and that. Great. And we got loader, which is going to be doing this. I don't actually have very good uh, split up of these, do I? Because there's a lot of things still in here. Using some XR types. So I can't actually use a loader quite yet. But what I can do. So kind of scrap this for the moment. What I can, can do, however, is I can force it to by default use Open XR and turn this to off. So I can still do this partly. Get rid of the libs and loader. We're not quite there yet. And scrap that. Open XR. Actually, that's a question. Open XR is not on Mac, but is the Oculus on Mac? How to connect, use. That's not. Oculus dropped support six years ago. Well, okay, sure. Maybe not. There's just no XR on Mac whatsoever. So there's so there's that. I'll also ch change it to be like XR support. Kind of do that. We'll move this stuff. So we'll have build XR in here. We don't even bother actually. It's already built in, I guess. Oh yeah, from Apple otherwise, yeah. Okay, build XR. To XR support. Let's change it to that. Hmm. 
don't have the loader, so I can't really do those settings yet. Yeah, because it'll, it'll still be dynamic, uh, directly linked, so that's fine. <sighs> so that. Rename, Dexar, support that. 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 And that. Is now up. the header and and what Okay, I will be happy with this as it sits right now. What's this? I just added MSAA to this. That still does work, right? I didn't set that back, did I? I'm still passing no pointer. Egads, not good. Whoops. Got data. Okay. Fix up. I need to do a couple of fix ups.
put that up as well. Okay. Fixed up. Now it works, right? Yeah, that's some MSAA going on right there. Oh, right, it's here. There's just no MSAA, that's pretty obvious. Go up to eight. Yeah, it's a lot better. All right, I'll call it there for tonight. Cheers.